guys, John from FlyMikeAlpha.com, and today I'm here to talk to you about slips. What they are, how do we use them? Well, a forward slip is something that we would do when we want to lose altitude and bring some drag into the airplane. A side slip is what we do when we do crosswind landings, and that's something you should have already viewed in an earlier lesson. But now we're going to talk about forward slips, what they're good for, and how are we going to use them. So what we're going to do here is come in a little bit high for this landing, a little higher than we'd like to be, and we're going to use a forward slip to help us lose altitude. So traveling forward with the airplane, but slipping through the air crooked to bring a lot of drag in so that the wind is actually hitting the airplane from the side. And we can take a little view of what that looks like with this little diagram here of the strings moving sideways across the wing as we turn the nose off to the side using rudder. I'll go ahead and set up for a normal landing here, PPFF, power, pitch, flaps, and fuel pump. And we'll go ahead and turn our left face a little tighter than we normally would. That'll make us a little high on approach and we'll have to get rid of that altitude somehow. Venice traffic, Cherokee Zero Sun Whiskey, left face runway 23, Venice traffic. And we'll go 25 flaps here on base. Clear on final, never touching flaps in a turn. Some airplanes you can't use slips with full flaps, so check your POH, make sure you know what it says, make sure you know your airplane. I know some Cessna 172s actually they recommend not to do slips with full flaps. We'll go ahead and pull throttle all the way back to idle here. That's going to make us want to sink since we're at almost 800 feet and on short final. Venice traffic, Cherokee's here, some whiskey short final runway 23, Venice traffic. And we're so high, how could we possibly get down in time? Well, I'm going to slow the airplane down to bring some drag in. I'm also going to kick full rudder, and as I kick full rudder, use a little bit of aileron to keep my direction, my lateral direction, going straight down the runway. And it's normal for the airspeed indicator to indicate a little lower in a slip since the wind's probably not hitting it head on. And also, it's a very dangerous time to get slow. You don't want to be slow in a slip because, well, if you stall on a slip, you're not in a real great spot to keep the airplane from going into a spin. However, the slower we go, the more drag we bring on the airplane, and that's what we're trying to do here. So we have to balance that, just a normal approach speed, or maybe just a few knots off of that. I'm gonna go ahead and hold my slip all the way down here until I wanna go straight. Now I'm just flying the airplane normally, and I'm trying to make those thousand foot markers, holding her off, holding her off, flying her down the runway, and there we go. Now I'm just doing a normal landing, holding my nose off, until she finally sets down there, and nose we down. There we are. So we used that slip 800 feet on short final and we still made the thousand foot markers because we brought so much drag into the airplane. If we hadn't done that, we probably would have ended up way yeah, further down the runway. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at mikealpha.com. We'll see you all next time.